faith has everything to do with the object. Faith is trusting in something. You can, you can have a lot of faith in the wrong thing, but you have a little faith in the right thing, and that's what matters. The, the, I think the picture for this is the two guys crossing a frozen river. Here two guys come to a frozen river. One has great faith that the ice is going to hold him, so he just plows across on his snowmobile. The other guy is afraid. His faith in the ice is very, very weak, so he kind of shimmies across the river on his belly. Both make it to the other side, not because of the strength of their faith, but because of the thickness of the ice. Now, those same two guys come back to the river a couple of weeks later, and the ice is paper thin, and the one guy charges across it in the snowmobile, and he and he's in the water, drowning in the middle, and the other guy shimmies across and gets halfway through, and it breaks, and they both drown in the river. They, they, one had strong faith, the other had weak faith, but the problem was this, well, the ice was not thick enough to hold them up. So it's not the strength of the faith that matters, it's what the faith is in. When we go to pray, it's not like I'm mustering up some sort of strengthening of my own heart to really, really believe and really, really want the things that I'm asking for. No, that's not the picture at all. The strength of our faith is not some sort of quality in the heart. It's knowing what God has promised. It's a certainty in his word. So that praying in faith does not mean stoking up some sort of quality in our own hearts. It, it rather means reading the Lord's word and finding his promises and asking him to keep his promises, knowing that God does not lie and that in his word he has spoken to us the truth about what he wants to give us and how he wants to serve us.